Morning folks, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog. Today we're gonna go up to my aunt and uncle's house and we're getting a lawnmower. It's like a free lawnmower my aunt and uncle are giving me. Basically, it's an old John Deere lawnmower. It's got a twin cylinder Kawasaki engine in it and we wanna get it for the engine in case we wanna have a little project here on the farm. Maybe build something fun with it. Maybe the lawnmower engine in my current lawnmower goes bad. Anyway, when somebody will give you something for free, you better take it. So we're gonna go on a little road trip. Let's go have some fun. So we're letting the old $100 truck warm up here. I've got a bucket in the shop that I keep chains in. I keep rope in one bucket and chains in the other bucket. We're gonna grab a couple chains because this lawnmower has a bad transmission and it won't roll up on the back of the truck. So here's our rope bucket and here's our chain bucket. Guys, we've had some problems with break-ins and uh, a lot of lawlessness here in my area. Our bank got robbed yesterday. Our local bank got robbed yesterday. Guys, just when you think you live in a sleepy little town, you discover that our local bank just got robbed. <laughs> and several people have uh, had things come up missing. So we're really having to be hyper vigilant on the farm here, keeping things locked up, keeping our buildings locked up, keeping our cars locked up, you know, just making sure that nobody gets into anything. It's kind of disheartening that some crackheads probably out there stealing a bunch of crap, but just the way of the world, I guess. It's the world we live in. So let's throw this chain in the back of the truck and go get that lawnmower. Idle down, baby. Nice. Guys, there haven't been a whole lot of projects going on with a $100 truck here lately. Just because it's been too cold, backing up here a little bit, it's just been too darn cold to fool with it. Our weather's getting nicer. Emergency brake. Our weather is getting nicer and nicer and and we plan on doing a uh, bed liner for it and a couple of other little things. But uh, she's running good. I have not adjusted the timing yet. It seems to be running good. It eats gas like none other. I'm gonna say probably at best, maybe nine to 12 miles per gallon in this thing, so. I don't drive it a whole lot. It's kind of a shoot around the farm vehicle, which is fine. It's cool. I like to take you guys on a road trip away from the farm. Maybe we'll find something cool on the way to stop and check out. So folks, we're up here at my aunt and uncle's house. And as I was driving up here, I thought, you know what? Why not give you a little bit of a history lesson here about the area we're in in Virginia? So we're in the rolling hills of Patrick County, Virginia. Patrick County is here and the first county we cross through is Henry County. If you put those two words together, you get Patrick Henry. Now Patrick Henry, if you don't know, is one of our founding fathers. One of the colleges that I went to, one of the junior colleges that I went to was Patrick Henry Community College. So that being said, this area is very rich in history. And a little known fact is that Patrick Henry did not sign the Declaration of Independence because it did not have a Bill of Rights. Pretty interesting fact. This is the birthplace of Jeb Stuart. Jeb Stuart was a U.S. Army officer that turned Confederate. Now the closest town or city is Stuart, Virginia. Now, do you think they're gonna rename Stuart, Virginia? There's a big statue of Jeb Stuart right in Stuart, Virginia. This is part of history, and I think our nation's trying to throw it away. I don't think it's a racial thing. I think it's just a history thing and we need to hang on to our history, whether it's good history or whether it's bad history, whether we're ashamed of it and whether we're not. That's my opinion. But here we are in Patrick County, Virginia. And there's your history lesson for the day. Now let's take the $100 truck and load up a broken down lawnmower, which is definitely on the lines of being a hillbilly. Look behind me how beautiful it is. Those are the mountains. That's Bull Mountain right there. That's Bull Mountain. Beautiful, beautiful place. And if you guys are NASCAR fans at all, if you watch races, Martinsville Speedway is probably about a half hour south of here. And this is the mountain right there that a lot of those Hendrick Motorsports folks crashed and died. Very sad day, but that's a little history. That's where we are. Let's get this truck down here and pick up this lawnmower. Woo! I hope you guys find that stuff interesting. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Let's go have some fun.
Just so you folks know, the house we're getting ready to pull up to is a circa 1880s home that my aunt and uncle restored. They bought this farm, I think it's about 100 acres in the beautiful rolling hills of Southwest Virginia, and they restored this house. Check it out. Beautiful, beautiful old farmhouse. <laughs> All right, folks, we got to flip this thing over. It's laid over on its side right now. We're going to work on that. If you can go up and back about that far, I can roll it over maybe. Let's turn it over now. Oh, yeah. He roll right on over. It's going to hit your truck? No. That's good. My thought is take your chain all the way around this, just pick it straight up, set the back tires on it, and then just let it down and roll it. Well, and that way the back, the front end's facing out of the truck, and then when I get home, I can hook to it and just drag and lift it right off. Okay, now you're gonna have to pull it by the back. You got to roll on the front wheel. Gotcha. Well. It ain't gonna have to roll at all when I hook my tractor to it. I'll just lift it up and set it back down. So it's locked, slam locked up in the back there, huh? So the thought process we're going with here is we're gonna lift this thing up by the front, raise it all the way up because the rear wheels are locked up. We're gonna set it on the back of the truck and just kind of push it back in there. And then when we get home, we'll have to take the bucket, raise it up and drag it out. I'll let you in on a little secret. Sometimes when you get stuff for free, it's more work than it's worth. We'll see. It's fun anyway. Let's see what, how it behaves once we get it up in the air. You know what I mean? Don't feel any pressure. <laughs> Thank you. Good at us. Of a stout bumper on it. Well, that's how I got myself in trouble to start with, Josh. My uncle's worried if he messes up that he'll be on TV. I told him the more things mess up, the funner it is. We've got a plan. We're gonna raise it up by the front end, back the truck up underneath it, and hopefully not tear the truck up or the lawnmower. I'll see how it goes. So this is what you call a redneck lawnmower wheelie. I need to bring it this way as you come down with it. Come on down. There you go. Should be good. Come on down. Should be good to let it on down. There we go. Right there. There we go. She's hooked. I'll just balance it a little bit safely. So here's what we're going to do. Here's the craziness. We're going to take this chain and we got it hooked right up under here to the hitch and we're going to lift it up and hopefully just drive it right on in there. Famous last words, I'm told. I think it'll work. If I get hurt doing this, you guys, let Mrs. Stony Ridge know to continue the vlog if I get killed, okay? Keep on going. That's as far as she'll go up, huh? Down just a little bit. Come on down a little more. Okay. So we're gonna pull the truck forward now and we're gonna push it in with the bucket. We have successfully overcomplicated this job to the point of stupidity. <laughs> so the idea here is we're going to put the bucket right up underneath these two things, just raise up a little bit, and push it on back in there. All right. Bucket up. There you go. 
Now, come forward this far. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Up. Up. Up, 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 up. Up. Forward. One more. Come on. Up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Stop, 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 stop. Back up, just back up. Get on, take it on back. Guys, I don't know, you're good. I don't know how close you saw that bucket was right there about to whop that thing. We're just about in there. We'll just pull it on back in by hand. Now that's a job well done. Well done, Chuck. Well, mission accomplished in so many words or less. We got the mower back here. It's on the back. We're going up the driveway now. There's the mower. That was overly complicated. Uh, when we get it off of the truck here, I, hopefully it won't be that complicated. That was Maybe we'll put the pallet forks underneath it or something. Uh, that was overly complicated. I thought it was going to fall off there for a minute. I don't know. It's good stuff. Guys, never, ever, ever turn down anything someone will give you. If somebody will give you something, take it. Whether you need it, whether you don't need it, whether you think you might need it, because if you turn them down one time, they'll never ever offer you anything free again. Always take something anybody offers you. Well, folks, that's kind of it for the vlog today. I just wanted to take you along with me and show you what I was doing. I got me a free mower back here and gonna take it home, take it apart, and probably just take that engine and all the parts that might fit my John Deere mower and put them up on a shelf and I'll have them when I need them. So thanks a lot for watching the vlog today. Come on back and see me next time. Maybe we'll be teaching you something. Maybe we'll be having some fun doing a little bit of farm stuff. Thanks a lot. Come on back and see me, okay? Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. 